just six or seven years old and some some kids, you know, I, you know, they were a group of, and they said, Marius, I even remember where I was. It was right across this, where my grandmother used to live. And then he said, Marius, when you grow up, what do you want to be? I said, I want to be the Virgin Mary. And I remember they laugh and laugh, you know. <laughs> Somehow I blew that goal big time. I don't know where I went wrong, you know. When I first come to the United States, uh, I had so many challenges in my life, you know. This was my first time, first time experiencing snow and things like that. And then I was away from everything that I know, my family, my friends, you know, so things were tough, <laughs> tough. When I first came here, things were hard, you know. I was not working, I just finished college. I did not have any skill set, you know. I realized I could hardly speak English, you know. I realized I need to go to school and learn how to do something before before I can find a job. My mom sent me some money to go to secretarial school. But I, I remember, you know, if you don't know the language, secretary is the wrong <laughs> job, you know, to have. Everywhere I would go, they either say that I'm overqualified or I don't have any experience. I was really getting discouraged. Allset was the first company who opened the door for me. Someone say, whenever God wants to give you a gift, he wrap it with a problem. But some of us, we spend so much time focusing on the problem, we forget to open the gift. I was so grateful to Allset to for giving me a job. I said to myself right there, I'm going to work as hard as I can and do whatever I can, you know, so they'd never have to uh, regret that they gave me that opportunity. I had no self-confidence. I was afraid to fail. I was also afraid to drive on the expressway, and I was afraid to speak in public. Uh, the way to prepare for, for that is being able to embrace change, which is the only thing that is constant, you know, in life. Take risk and not be afraid to fail. To look at failures as opportunity to grow, you will never reach out your full potential in life if you let fears prevent you from trying. It was about 25 years ago. My son got sick. The doctor told me that he has a cyst in his brain. I was devastated by the news. I was crying all the time and could not cope with the problem. I thought my son was going to die. I didn't tell anyone, you know, what was going on in my life because I thought I did something wrong and God was punishing me. Later on, I went into one of my Allset uh, agents, Nelia Apolina, and was led to tell her about my problem. She told me, Maris, you always help people. God is not going to abandon you. God performed a miracle for him. The company has always opened the door for me and provided me with a platform and opportunity to help people in need. I remember the day after the big earthquake in Haiti, all said asked me, how can we help you support the people in Haiti? That was a defining moment for me, which made me realize how my passion to serve was aligned with my passion to improve all state reputation in the community by helping people in need. Passion will take you far. Because I feel like I'm going someplace where I'm leaving my family. If I have to go back again, you know, I will start at all state. This is a company where whoever you are, you are accepted. They want you to be yourself, who you are, and you are welcome. If I go back and talk to my younger self, I would say, you know, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. As a matter of fact, I can say everything is going to be awesome. <laughs>